Hey, Clark, could you discuss your uh, playmaking ability and ball skills? We see a lot of interceptions and touchdowns here in your stat profile. Man, it's a product, honestly, of just a lot of film study um, and a lot of confidence. I, I truly believe that um, I separate myself on that field. Can't wait to step back on it, but it's really just a product of a lot of preparation, a lot of film study, and then just being able to make those plays in that moment and having the confidence to do so. And uh, the decision to go to Utah after being a top five recruit, uh, 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 how'd you arrive at that and how'd that go for you? Yeah, so uh, it was great, man. It was a lot of stuff, a lot of ups and downs in the recruitment process, uh, a product of a lot of different coaching changes that happened uh, right before the days of my signing day. And I ended up uh, going with Utah, man, because I just felt solid about the staff. I loved uh, love Coach Scally, love Coach Shaw. Uh, Coach Whittingham felt solid in their defensive um, history and what they do for defensive guys on, on the team and how to get guys to the next level. And I wanted to be the next guy that, you know, kind of got out from Utah. And, um, yeah. Clark, Clark, what have they told you? Do you have any indication of whether you'll be inside, outside? Honestly, not sure. I'm just looking forward to getting out there, man, and working my butt off and helping the team win. Is there is there one of the two? Do you feel more comfortable in the slot or? I mean, I, I don't really know. I just honestly, I just love, man, playing defense and getting interceptions. I like I think that you can get interceptions from the outside and the inside. And um, that's something that I, I'm super excited to kind of get to. Clark, have you have you paid attention to any of the moves the Falcons have made in their secondary so far this offseason? They've signed a lot of new guys, and it seems like it'll be a, a lot of uh, new energy in that group. I just want to get your thoughts on playing with some of those guys. I look forward to it. I mean, I know a couple of the guys, you know, and um, definitely have seen some of the moves that they made. I, I think you need those type of moves, and I'm excited to be a part of them. Which of the guys do you know, Clark? Uh, Jeff Okuda. Okay. Where do you know him from? Uh, he played, so he played at Ohio, Ohio State. I was recruited by them. He was actually committed to Ohio State for a little while. So he was a guy that I was going to be walking in, and he was actually going to be leaving that year. But he was a, kind of a big bro, him and Sean Wade. Did you have any indication of interest from the Falcons? Uh, I mean, I think um, this process is, like, long, and you talk to a lot of different teams, so you really don't know. Um who's legitimately interested in everything, but I definitely had a great meeting with them um, at the combine and talked to the staff and felt like they were a great dude. So I'm glad that they ended up picking me. Clark, so it says you majored in business administration at Utah. Well, if football wasn't going to be a thing, what what were you going to do? Um, I'm still 21. I don't know exactly what my whole life's going to look like, you know, but uh, I definitely know that I want to play uh, football as long as I can. And, uh, as soon as I'm done, I guess we'll have to figure that out all the way. But I think I want to be somewhere around sports. Don't know if that would be like commentating or what or something, you know, medical. I know my dad's in the healthcare industry um, and or he's been in the healthcare industry and he's at, he's worked in different areas and healthcare executives. So I don't know if that'll if, what that'll bring for me. But I definitely know that I want to be in some area of business, but also tied to tied to football or sports. Yeah, I guess I was asking that in some ways, because obviously in the NIL era, I imagine that that probably yeah would offer different levels of approach than it would have maybe 10 years ago. So didn't know if you were using most definitely. Hey, I yeah. Just, I definitely met a lot of people. I just got a tweet from the scouting community and they said, uh, Clark Phillips, the thirds got that dog in him. What, what is that? What, what are they, oh, yeah. what are they referencing there? Man, they're just talking about probably my feisty nature, of, you know, of play. I kind of play with the, with the chip on my shoulder. Um, always been one to kind of go at it and, and work the hardest. And I'm just excited to, you know, go and help this new team, man, and help the Falcons out in any way I can. Was it a geographical decision uh, to go to Utah and, and uh, come off for the high state commitment? Because it was close. No, it was more, co it was more coaching. Um Coaches at uh, my other place there at Ohio State at the time, they ended up taking another role, D.C. and the uh, D.B. coach. So I ended up having to make that decision two weeks before signing day. Good thing is I was already in contact with, with Utah and Coach Shaw and Coach Winningham and all those guys. So it was a smooth transition. Clark, you mentioned having a chip on your shoulder. There's been a lot of talk about your size. What What's allowed you to play bigger than that? And, and why why would any concerns be overblown? 
honestly, um, I don't, it's crazy. I, I laugh about it with my family because I don't feel, you know, undersized or anything, um, especially not when I'm on the field. It's just, you know, something that everybody's going, you know, kind of look at measurables and look at those things and take it with a grain of salt. But it's something that I kind of use to my advantage. I feel like um, I've been this size since my, you know, sophomore year of high school. So I know my body best. I was one of those kids that grew, you know, taller than everybody early on. And then they kind of passed me up. So it's like one of those things that you notice, but it's like you always feel big. I feel like the big kid on the block all the time. And I got tremendous strength, too. So I think um, that's one of those things that people might take for granted looking at the height only. Was that something you had to like work through in high school? Like you said, you were the tall guy and then, you know, not anymore. Uh, if I mean, I think it's all about perspective for me. It's like I've always been dominant, you know, and, and so it's like I, I never really thought about it in a way of like, dang, this sucks or dang, why are those, why are they taller than me? It's like always been something I've used to my advantage and I've been able to excel. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I guess one, like there are a couple guys like Quandre Diggs, I remember maybe similar to you where he came in as a smaller, you know, a shorter, I guess, corner, played, played in the nickel for a while and obviously went to, safety, went to safety. Is that something you could see down the road or do you see yourself just as a corner or a nickel? Honestly, I would leave uh, that up to the coaches. I think that um, they have they have the plan and I'm going to trust God's will and God's plan as well. You know, I'm just going to put my head down and work and come in and be and be available for the for the staff and for the team and I just wanna man, I just wanna win. Anything else? All right. Thanks, Clark. Thanks, Clark. Thanks, Clark. Thanks, Clark. I appreciate you guys.